suck, folks. Make it man like he lands remark. Mm. Gruel vehicle action and pioneer. That's right. Here we are, ready to play some more Gruel vehicles. I haven't played this in quite a while, so we'll see how it goes. Like I said, my name's Lance. More importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MDJO, MGJ, and Twitter. If you're watching this on Twitch, please start following. Watch this on YouTube. Please start subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Twitter for that Bluebird action. That's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube for the low, low cost of free. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, even sometimes joy. You know. Um, but as you can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering, but um, to watch my videos, you would never know that. But I do seriously enjoy, I usually play Modern. Uh, Modern is my favorite format, but I do dabble in Pioneer because of RCQs. Um, there aren't any RCQs coming up for a little while. I think the next RCQ for me is April 29th, which is Pioneer, so I'm trying to decide if I still want to keep going with Rakdos or I want to keep with, trying with this deck. Um, Rakdos is the heavy favorite, just because... The deck plays so well when it plays well. Well, this deck has shining moments too. Um, there is an event, I mean, it's after, and like less, about a month, they're gonna have an event way up north where you can win a um, proxy Black Lotus. I'm not gonna play in that. I don't wanna play for a proxy. I don't care if the whole box worth a thousand bucks. All right, let's take a look at the weather. It's another soaker out there. Weather for Ravensdale conditions are rain with a temperature of 45 degrees. The wind is blowing from the northwest at 3 miles per hour. And the current humidity is 87%. That's right. Um, it has just been pouring down rain for several days. And I think tomorrow's the last day of pouring down rain. I mean, it's just been a, a deluge of rain. Um, so, yeah, take a look here. We, are, we went up to, uh, I think we're still at 40. Went up three followers. On Twitter, we're now at 45. We went up six followers on Twitch, we're now at 315. In fact, let's get our newest guy up here. Thank you kindly, Steve Z90, for the follow. Go watch me live. Let me know where you're from, where your favorite modern deck is. That would be awesome. And we did go one subscriber on YouTube, so we're now at 512 on YouTube. So, of course, what does this mean? This means Shouts all 45 followers on Twitter. Shouts all 315 followers on Twitch. Shouts all 512 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all 16 of my Twitch subscribers. Give me a little bit of their hard earned money in, a, in these very trying and dangerous times. I really appreciate it. It's obviously going way above me on the Call of Duty. Uh, I'm impressed that anybody wants to watch any of this, let alone willing to contribute financially. I, it means so very, very much to me, and it is awesome. And uh, yeah, so here we are again. It's been a little while um, since we uh, had uh, some Gruel vehicle mid-range. I can't remember the last time I played it, the exact last date, but it does have some new cards in it. First off, we have four copies of Copper Line Gorge. When I last played, this card was not legal in Pioneer. Uh, brought in two copies of Scavenging Ooze because Graveyard, uh, you know, Grease Fang and Izzet Phoenix are on the uptick. And then this new card... Miglos Maze Crusher. I played against one Rakdos, uh, I mean, one Gruel Vehicles in MXP Oakland, and uh, I did defeat it with Rakdos, but this card did cost me a game. It just uh, suddenly be getting Vigilance and Menace was pretty obnoxious. Um, and then the sideboard, we're trying out the Stone Brain still. Uh, it was okay uh, in, in Rakdos so far. And then two copies of Thrun Breaker of Silence. I used to run Thrun, the original Thrun in uh, the modern Ponza. I think this card's a little too big to run in uh, Ponza in modern now. It's still good. I thought about it, but in the end, it's probably pretty good here in Pioneer. Let's get on in there. Really got nothing else to say other than it's Monday and I'm tired. Mondays are always tough on me. You know, I got to get up suddenly at 1 a.m. And, uh,. It's rough, man. 1 a.m. wake up, work 3 a.m. to 1.30. Ooh, it's 4 p.m. Pacific time, 4.18 Pacific time, yeah. So, you know, I've already been up for uh, over 17 hours. And I only get about four hours of sleep, so you can imagine the brain is cooking, and not in a good way. 
Alright. Alrighty, of course I'm going to go first before I officially declare going first. I have to reveal my beverage of the day, and folks, I'm excited to have one of these. I'm back to what I'm known for. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a 12 ounce can of Mountain Dew Major Melon. That's right. I hope you guys are excited to see me guzzle this down. Uh, that one liter Dew and the 500 subscriber thank you was awesome. Uh, but I really like this flavor. We all know the official start of the video is going to until I crack with my beverage is going to happen right now. Oh, that was clean. That was a nice crack. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Hell yeah, I'm going first. Yep. That's a keeper. Uh, I think I'll hold on to Vesaju as long as I can. Right, and hope it's just not some aggressive-ass burn deck. By shocking there. Oh. Okay. I mean, I can't remember which more important flavor, the red or the green side. I guess I'll go with the red here. Blue white control again, man. I played against lot this recently, like for real. That's a lot of reckless storm seekers. Yep, target itself. Swing for three. Nice. Get in there. Go play another one. All right. Sure. Target itself. Go a five four. Get in there, big wolf. This thing's really got my price, hasn't it? The storm seeker. I think it's like a five dollar. What is this? A rare? Yeah, a rare. I don't know. I've heard it's gone up in value. It used to be like three. This obliterating bolt's a strange card. Like, it's good and all, but at the same time, it's kind of shitty. All right, just play my third Reckless Storm Seeker. All right, a 5 4 again. Get in there. So we can kill that with Stomp and Obliterating Bolt. Fine, first strike, life link. Stomp. Obliterating Bolt. Swing for five. 
Man, that guy got fucked up. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, this Reckless Stormseeker is so good. Okay, obviously you need to bring him Thrun. And I also like Clothis. Uh, not a fan of Scavenging Ooze. Um, Werewolf Pack Leader is okay. Thrun can't be countered, right? They still have, yeah, it still can't be countered. Trample. Can't be targeted of non green spells or abilities from non green sources. It's not a protection. It, it can still be blocked by all that shit. Does get indestructible along with my turn. Um, other cards I could bring in too would be like Fry. Fry's not a terrible pick there. You know, maybe take out one each of the of oh, that and go there. Just to try and deal with planeswalkers. Uh, not keeping that. Mole number one. Keep this though. Put a Sky Sovereign on bottom. Yeah. Uh, swing for three, and it needs four to become five three. Going to make a one one. Get rid of that shark. Get in there for the three. Frame verdict. They always got it. Just keep up that pressure. They do nothing. Uh, swing for five. Now it's a two two shark. Stomp on that as well. I'm going down to 10. I'm not going to cast this other Bone Crusher Giant. I don't want to have Supreme Verdict or something. You know, I, I think that's right. I mean, I don't know how many Supreme Verdicts they run. I don't know. Maybe we get greedy here. Just go for it? I don't know. Let's see if I get punished, mighty punished here for a second Supreme Verdict.
Yeah, that's an obnoxious ass creature. Amazingly, I can swing at all of them. So I don't want to send. Yeah, it's target itself. Buys him some time. What I really need is, you know, um, I mean, I'm sure they'll counter. They have four cards in hand, but like a Seekus Chariot. Uh, another one of those is fine. I probably should have started a Crone War. That's going to be like a, just a super dead draw. Okay. Target itself. Swing for six. I still have one basic forest. All right. All right, nothing I can do here. Guess out all graveyards in case the scavenging is. Not bad. Here's how we lose.
man. That's a six six. All right. Boy, this sure is exciting. Ah, there's a blocker. Game can continue. I guess now I could potentially try to take um the uh I could try to take the whole breaker horror. There's enough there. Let's take these Akron Wars out. Let's bring this scavenging ooze back in. And the chariot. We need to do uh, the chariot right now. Swing for five. Nice. That's some heavy hitting action on turn three, swinging for five. I don't know why they designed this card like that. Fire this up, too. I mean, fuck it. That's 10 damage. You know what that means? Supreme verdict time. So 
So the scavenging ooze can't quite, unless I chop deck a green source, I do not. Oh, wait, no, this does work. Go, ooze, go. Swing for four. Come on, baby. Says whenever Brimaz blocks a creature, create a one-one white cat. Okay, well it's not gonna let that happen. Yeah, all right. Taking down the blue-white control. Well, that was satisfying as all hell. I mean, really, that was. Gadget News put in serious work there. Just all of a sudden, it just was able to fire up a Seekers Chariot again. That's an aggressive-ass start, man. This deck was like, I remember being really good. Except against Mono Green, it's like impossible to beat him. It's a little more possible now since you have Damping Sphere and Stone Brain. Still seems pretty bad. Uh, and you get another Crone War. Um, really, I don't know how you defeat that deck with this deck, like at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think that was pretty good. Um, but I, I, last time I played it was at an RCQ, and it was horrible. It went like 1-6. I think. I, I think it was one in six. And uh, I only won one match, and it was against a terrible... Uh, why Stone Brain? Uh, Stone Brain is just to name cards like Karn the Great Creator against Mono Green. Um, you know, whatever whatever you think is a really problematic card. You know, Shalder the Apocalypse. Um... You know, maybe uh, Indomitable Creativity. You know, I, I it's just for stuff like that. I, I'm trying it out to see if it's any good. All right, yeah, I'm going to go first. I guess... Is it going to side in? Yeah, that's what I just said. That's what you bring it in against. Mono G and combo deck. You can also bring it against Shelter, because Shelter is tough to kill for this deck. Anything with more than four toughness. Unless it happens to be... A, you know, I got one copy of Pry on the side for the blue card. But glad to see you here... Uh, Hino Opai. Thank you kindly, Hino Opai, for the follow. I really appreciate that. Let me know where you're from and your favorite modern or pioneer deck is. Or any deck, really. Some people just play Commander, and I have no idea what's going on Commander, like, ever. So we got a pretty slow player here. Not, uh, doesn't seem very active. So Magic the Gathering Online is all about is having AFK opponents.
Is this another different blue white control? That's insane. Like, there's so much blue white control going around right now. Uh, yeah, I think we just ramp here. In real life, Lotus Field, Grease Thing, and Azorius Band Spirits and Learn Girl Vehicles to play against it. Oh. Well, see, like Lotus Field, you'd have to name, what would you name with, uh, you can't name Lands with Brainstone, right? No, you can name Lands with Brainstone, right? Oh, I have to look. Yeah, you can name land, so you can name the Lotus, uh, Lotus Field. Oh, it's just spirits. Interesting. Uh, what do we want to do here? I got a crow and war that. I think I just want to obliterating bolt that. And try to get a uh, Sky Sovereign out next turn. A Demon card, I like that. Like Doom. Grease Fang's a deck that I can never beat. It's just like it's always good. We might as well play it, right? All right. This is Azorius Spirits. They're just chilling. All right. Yep. More lands. Wow. Yeah, that works. Gonna lose here. I don't have fries or anything. That's interesting. I'll double block. Just lose. Two, four, six. Guess I'm not dead yet.
Wow. Yeah, they have to attack. F3. So the spell color will survive. Dude. That is horrible, man. That's a lot of lands, bro. Uh, swing for one. I mean, what the hell? I mean, the opponent's got a lot of lands, too. Pretty gross. The Blittering Bolt's got to work. It's just got to work here. Uh, stomp here, please. Oh, my God. Swing for one. All right. Yeah, that, that works. Stomp, I'll pay the one. Might as well try it. I don't have that much removal for this deck. I have three copies. I, I guess that Sky Sovereign's also removal right now. But scavenging who's out the top would be a pretty sweet find. They don't have any haste creatures, right? The closest thing they have a haste creature is... Um, Oh my god, yeah, that still works. It didn't matter. I mean, I got it off the field. Finger one. This little lawn war is going to go the whole way, guys. The whole damn way. All right, I'm going to pump up this Lana, I mean, this Werewolf Pack Leader. Most definitely. Wing for six. Wow. All right, do it again. Swing for six.
Yep, yeah, spell caller will do it. Well, we almost got there. We almost had a miraculous comeback. Okay, what is bad here? Uh, I was at like rending volley and I like fry. I mean, those are just haymakers here. Um, I think we can take out some of those. I feel like I should take out all the chariots, leaving just Sky Sovereigns. Wow, okay, sure. Let's go for it. Let's get all of the Elvish Trampers. It's a lot of mana. That's a six land hand start. Oh, man, I'm tired. Like, for real, I truly am. You know, getting up at 1 a.m. is always tough. I hate doing it, but right now I got to. You know, next week I may have to start, you know, streaming later. Like, you know, because my work schedule might change again. Uh, swing for one. I'm going to hold up a rending volley just in case they do uh, Spectral Sailor into the enchantment. I want to just get blown out by that card. You know, there's Spectral Sailor. There it is. So now we want to do this because Rattle Chains can still stop Rending Volley because it doesn't counter. It just makes it hexproof. So, yeah, just Rending Volley here. Okay. Mutivolt. Uh, yeah, just swing like this. Clearly a spell queller.
Interesting way to race. Love it. Eventually, he'll find something to do. I mean, it might as well. Uh huh. Ward one and oh, it has to be legendary to get the plus one plus one, but it does get the draw a card thing, so it's not as good as the other one. It could have been a huge blowout. Yeah, they saw the snare. Do you guys notice I haven't really drawn any large creatures? Hey, where are you at? Uh, yeah, let's just fire up the Hydra. Uh, yeah, I guess let's take out the, uh, Supreme Phantom. Pretty horrible way to lose.
No matter what, I'm going to take a point of damage. Their upkeep, I'll try to stomp on, uh, stomp on that, uh, Mausoleum Wanderer. Unless they do something here, if they flash in, like, a, I don't know why, but a Spectral Sailor. Nice. All right, got that out of there. Now can Scavenging Ooze do something? Like, Ooze is going to be like an MVP here. I go down to five. Got to be aware of, oh, whatchamacallit, um, um, Skyclave. Uh, yeah, we just go for this here, force their hand on this, grab that Supreme Phantom. Uh, that way you can block, maybe. And then swing here. Uh, eat the Supreme Phantom. Right on! Scavenging ooze, saving the day. Woo! All right. I'm just going to go with all that, the same exact thing. Kino says, unlucky? Yes. But then lucky there at the end when it matters most. Uh, cannot keep this. Cannot keep one landers. Even though it does have double rending volley, I, I need to be able to put a creature out. Uh, this is also unkeepable because there's no colored mana. I can't believe that. That is crazy. Now this is keepable. Poseidou and Mutavault on bottom. Oh, with three copper line gorges. Good start. He didn't start with a uh, mausoleum wanderer or something. Gonna see if these storm seekers can get shit done. Extremely aggressive ass card. Yeah, it has to target itself, right? Oh, it's making me? Oh, I, it's because I have another creature. Yeah, 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 duh. Uh, I almost skipped that. Squ swing for three. That's really bad. 
You know they got a gaslight snare or something, right? Okay. Give me that one. Target itself again. Swing for three. So I'm surprised he didn't swing there with a Supreme Phantom. Oh, I guess I, I didn't realize that it had to... Um, since he still controls it, yeah, it falls off. Interesting. Okay. Um... I am more than happy. Wow. Um, do I want to target itself? I mean, this can't block. Yeah, I think so. These have to attack me next turn. This swings. So I got to take four here at least. The problem is, is that this Supreme Phantom goes back. So these, this is going to die. This is not going to die. They let it transform, which is awesome. So the shackle guys dies. This goes back to them. <sighs> um play this okay Target itself. Five four with trample swing. They fire Mutavault here. You know, this is a 5-4?
If they fire Mutavault here, which they're not going to. Now he's got to worry about like Supreme Phantom. I mean, not Supreme Phantom. Um, I, I don't want to cast this Rending Volley right now because I don't want to lose nighttime. Yes. Yeah, I just take the two. <sighs> I gotta do it now. Um... <sighs> Shackle guys or Supreme Phantom? Shackle guys can't block, but it is very obnoxious. I think we gotta take out the shackle guys. And the reason is that I can't let it just keep tapping this. Of course they had fucking rattle chains. So now we just lose. You know, unless I can top deck another. Wow. And of course, that turned that off. Um, target itself. I think I just lose here. Like, I just haven't been able to find enough stuff. I mean, that's just eight right there. All right, time to die. I'm not gonna let a Stormseeker transform just to fucking land like normal. God damn it, dude. That was a chance there. That was a chance. A scavenging ooze or another reckless storm seeker, you know, would have at least done something. But instead, you just lose because the fucking land. You love to feel like a piece of shit. You love to take that gunshot blast to the face. You love it, folks. You want it. You open up your mouth and say, pull the trigger, buddy. That's what a top deck land is every fucking time. Yep, just hopeless and sad. This game is playing how life goes every day. I mean, li life outside of Magic the Gathering is very good. I'm married with kids. I have a nice house, a nice job. Uh, I got a couple acres of property. 
You know, I don't have cancer. I don't have anything. The worst thing in my life is Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering is like a huge bane on my entire existence. Like, it's just one of the worst things I've ever done in my life. If I go back in time, I would tell my younger self to never play this game. I'd say, find something else to do. You know, because I've wasted so much of my time. Not really even that much money. I don't buy a lot of Magic stuff. I mean, I'm sure over the years it's been like, ten twenty thousand dollars um maybe more because i've traveled across the country for it but you know i mean just man of the gathering is a terrible hobby a lot of times just like you, you, you get nothing out of it it's getting made fun of you know you feel stupid you disregard friends and family. Um, no, I don't like this hand. I mean, you could go one, but I don't like the double of Crone War. Got to mold that. This is better. Put the sky ship on the bottom. Oh, good. Fires of Invention, it looks like. I haven't played against this in a while. Uh... Yeah, sounds pretty normal. Wow, they don't do anything? What the hell? Fuck yeah. This is... Yeah! <laughs> All right, Fires of Invention. Wow. Um, I don't have... I guess I just bring in Stone Brain. Uh, is the Crone War any good? I don't really remember. I think obliterating bolts really bad. And maybe fry for like Yorion. Man, I don't even know. I'm gonna try fry for Yorion. The only other card I might want to bring in is Clothis, but I, nah. Just we're gonna go with that. I have seriously not played against this in quite some time. I've been playing a lot of Pioneer. I, I haven't seen this in the wild. Uh, and by wild, I mean paper. Right? I mean, he's got to be... Uh, I guess he could be Incarnation, too, but... Whatever the case may be, I don't have any extra sideboard hate. I, I don't know what this guy is. Or just have to go for the best and spec the worst. Uh, yeah, I guess. Turn to uh, Werewolf Pack Leader. Deputy of Detention. That's one you don't see all too often. I do like how this deck pumps out creatures.
Ah, it's three. Did not realize it was three. Oil counters. So, okay, I guess then we just play uh, Isika's Chariot. I'm going to need a creature with scavenging goose off this discard. Ah. Need an Elish Norn here. The small victories. Okay, very important to get this on the field. Very important. So they can sacrifice another enchantment, which would go up to four. Pegasus creature you can draw whenever an enchantment. Okay, yeah, that, that's why we're going to make sure to kill that thing. Okay. So, one, two, three. Get lubed up. Remove three oil counters. One, two, three. Boom! All right, good shit. Uh, and now I think we want to go crew. Crew cats? Or crew, yeah, crew cats. And then swing for four. Make a copy of a kitty. They take it all. I was very lucky to draw that Kaplusen Forest. Oh, good. Let's search for another one. Now they have fires of inventions. Okay. Now these lands are suddenly getting bad. Um... Gonna be a massive swing here. Give it a vigilance and menace. I don't really want to send the ooze because, you know, I can just die to this, this. I mean, I, I really don't want to do that. Um, probably don't need to send a cat either. Copy another kitty. What? That's bullshit. That's bullshit.
More cats. More cats. Look how many goddamn cats there are. There's six damn cats on the field. That's a lot for anybody to handle. Yeah, I mean, it's just horrible trying to play against this thing. And they had one in hand? Are you fucking kidding me? They had one in hand. That's insane. Nice to go for a seven mana enchantment. I mean, that's insane. I need Besage you. Or a creature. It's a it's a creature. They have to find a seven mana creature. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I can only draw lands, it appears. Tap that one and tap one cat. Right? All right. Go. All of these cards go. Cat goes. This goes. It's just so many good blocks for the opponent. All righty. We've only had an obliterating bolt for that Archon. I think I took off the obliterating bolt, didn't I? I guess I did. Nothing I can do. Wow. Right over this. Fuck off. Um, yeah, there's just nothing else I can bring in. There's just really not. I mean, it's just, it's bad. Real bad. Um, I'm going to bring back in obliterating bolts. And Um, I'll still keep the fry in though. Sure.
draw a card, okay. Uh, swing for six. Go, critters, go! And obliterating bolt that. Ugh. Fuck, that's terrible. Okay, we have to, we gotta hit the Fable the Mirror Breaker unless they target itself. What's it targeting? It doesn't target? What? Well, I mean, I'm going to kill it then. Ah. Uh. Man. Yeah, I mean, I just got to pass, I think, and try to fry. Man, I think so. That still won't work. I mean, that's fine. What the fuck? How? How the fuck can they have that fucking mini, you fucking piece of fucking dog shit? Seven is... How many cards are they in their deck? 17, they have two copies they just found? Like, are you fucking kidding me? This doesn't do anything because of the ley line binding.
What a man. What a big titted man. Just insane. Does nothing? I guess doesn't want to give me back my, uh, Uh, I guess we just a crow in war. The Titan of Industry. Yeah, I don't know if that made any sense. I don't think firing... Maybe I should have fired up a Seekus Chariot. I don't know. That's really bad. He just takes two there. He just bounced his own guy, right? Yeah, he can just bounce his own guy because he owns it, right? How do you beat this deck? Uh, I mean, they're obviously going to blink this and do something. Um, I'll throw a cat under there. Trample and haste. Plus one, plus one.
Wow. All these abilities this card has, I just don't ever remember them. You know, it's just, it's got way too many abilities. What the fuck is this? I've never seen that used before. This is why I hate playing this Gruul deck. It's like as soon as you play against something that's not kind of like, you know, stupid. I mean, as soon as you play against something that's hella stupid, um, So I can't block that. I can kill this though. Gain trample, so I gotta be aware of that. Block. Mm, that was stupid. I could have gone one, two, three, four, five. Could have made this a five, five and blocked that for free. That was dumb. I don't know what the opponent's doing. They should win this game. I mean, I have no answer for that Titan of Industry. Especially only top decking lands. Make this be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't really matter. He's just got fires of invention. And the Yoran can just fly over for free forever. Um Yeah. Uh, I don't see a way to win this. I mean, it's just impossible to beat this opponent's deck with this deck. Like, with Rakdos, I might be able to thought see stuff, you know? But here, it's just, you're just, you might as well just sit down on a fucking railroad spike straight up your fucking ass and laugh, you know? Be like, oh, that felt great. Um... Yeah, I, I just don't see a way to win. I'm not drawing any good cards. I'm just going to fucking try to block and survive, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really give a fuck either. I don't think this deck's very good, honestly. It, it's got a lot of problems. Like, there, there's moments where it does well with the... I mean, the whole reason this deck even, I think, is a playable deck is because of Reckless Stormseeker. You know? I mean, for real. I, I think it's the only 
Um, Jack, I, I think that's the only card that is good in this deck. I mean, for real. I think everything else in the deck is pretty poor. Just not good enough. It's just not a good enough deck. I think it's a really bad deck most of the time. Like, you can win surprisingly once in a while with, you know, Reckless Storm Seeker, but you're not going to win usually. Usually you're just in really, really bad shape. I mean, you're just sitting here. I mean, look at this. This is what just happened. You know, I mean, this is just really, really bad. This is really pathetic. This is suicidal. I mean, why are you even playing this? It's just so bad. It's just such a bad deck. It's just really a bad deck. I mean, that's all there is to it. It's just a really bad deck that you're just trying to play. And you can see I can draw another land there. Uh, just a really bad deck. I mean, just a really heinous, horrible deck that I just don't think is very good. I, I just don't think this is a very good deck. I think it's a really poor deck. I don't think it's a very fun deck either. You're just going off the gimmick of one card. I mean, you're basically, this is the only card you can use to maybe win a match. You know, I mean, you, you win by this card. That's it. That's it. Anything else is just too slow. There's not enough good removal. You know, if there was Fury here, then maybe there'd be a shot. But overall, this is just a really bad deck. It just is. It's a really poor deck. But I'm a stupid son of a fucking bitch that, uh, you know, is just a pathetic human being that is going to continue to play this deck. I think it's a really bad deck. It doesn't play well. It plays awkwardly and strangely. Um... Obliterating Bolt is a pretty fucking bad card. Like, it's so painful to play Obliterating Bolt when you're used to Lightning Bolt and Terminates and Fatal Pushes. You know, I mean, it is just... Lord, that's a bad card. Like, Dreadbore, I think, is way better than this. You know, I mean, it's just... There's so many... You know, with Rakdos, it just feels like you have a shot against every deck. It does. I'm going to thought seize this enamic, enamic enchantment deck. I'm going to, you know, I got cards from out of the side that are super good against every deck. You know, Extinction Event is super good against this deck. It's super good against Mono Green. You know, I'm not saying you're going to win. You guys watch me and you just see that I lose all the time. But this deck is just a hopeless deck, it feels like. You just, you just, you got nothing to do most of the time. You're just drawing lands. You're playing underpowered creatures sometimes. You know, I mean, think about how good Blood Tide Harvester is compared to most of the cards you see here. I mean, they're just, they're not that good. Love Struck Beast, you know, is neat. But again, you need Reckless Storm Seeker. If you don't get the turn one Line of War Elves, turn two uh, Reckless Storm Seeker, turn three is Seeker's Chariot, you've already lost. There's very unlikely you're going to be able to win. And this deck is just basically a gimmick deck like it doesn't have any strong foundation to it. it doesn't have any sort of uh appeal outside of that gimmick and i've tried my best with this deck and it's just it just seems so bad and so hopeless most of the time it's like as soon as you fall behind it's over there's no comeback with it you don't have comeback um really anything it's just kind of like you know even if you play a seeker's chariot there's so much anti-seeker's chariot stuff a braid, uh, just about anything that can kill a Seeker's Chariot at instant speed once it becomes a creature. It's horrible, man. And I don't know. I, I, I think that my days of playing Magic are coming to an end. Like, I really don't want to do this anymore. Like, I just, I come on here, I, I, I play the best I can. I just get fucking rocked every time. I just, I just feel like shit. I look like shit. I smell like shit. I'm a piece of shit for playing Magic the Gathering. And it's just the way things go. You know, it's just the way I've got to accept life is that with Magic the Gathering, I am just a piss poor human being because I'm playing this game. I'm sucking at it. I'm feeling like shit and uh, just the way it goes. So, all right, guys, that's enough for me. Um, and three matches today, you know, because these games take fucking forever in Pioneer. I don't know why they take so goddamn long, but that's going to do it for me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the bullshit. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching today's uh, content. I don't know why you would. There's got to be something better you're doing in your life than watching this garbage. There has to be. You have to have something better happening in your life than this. Uh, but if you don't, I guess continue to watch me on Twitch. You can give me a follow. You can subscribe to me on YouTube and give me a thumbs up. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm not really sure what that's for. 
Uh, I will be back tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific time, for more of this, more ass beatings. My my ass is going to be just fucking red and destroyed. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's do some shout outs here. Shout outs to Pino Opai, whatever the hell that means. Uh, the Nightbot and the MTG bot for the follow, and uh, or I mean, for keeping me company. And then uh, Steve Z90 and Pino Opai for the follow. Really appreciate that, guys. Uh, wish I could put on a better show for you, but if you like seeing some man struggle and contemplate what he's doing with his life because he's playing a shitty children's card game, man, you come to the right place. Because I am just, every day I'm contemplating what I'm doing wrong with my life. Like, you know, I've got everything going on so well in my life, and I, I have to play Magic the Gathering to make sure I feel like trash, to make sure I feel like the average human being that's just struggling to find food out of a garbage can or a dumpster behind a Walmart. That's that's basically what I'm doing to myself when I play Magic the Gathering. Make sure I get that experience of feeling like a worthless human being. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and everyone be safe out there. Eat some good food, drink some good beverages, and spend time with your loved ones. Way more important playing this garbage. And uh, peace, motherfucker!